Hey Internet, how's your connection today? Is everything alright? How many gigabytes do you think you've used? I bet you've spent hours online in the last few days without even realizing it. Cause the internet today is just a basic thing, like a sunrise every morning that we all take for granted. You may say you could easily go without the internet, at least for a few days, but what if it disappeared, not only in one place, but on the entire planet? And not only for a few days, but forever. It may not be obvious, but what if I told you that it would definitely cause a lot of deaths? And no, not because people will have a heart attack from not being able to check their Instagram, but because of many other vital things that just wouldn't work without the internet. Today, you'll find out what would happen if the internet permanently disappeared, how many unnoticeable things heavily depend on the internet, and how losing it would ruin our lives. But before the internet connection goes down, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video coming next week. Now let's get right into it. So imagine yourself just living your everyday life. Everything's alright, it's a sunny day, and then some kind of Thanos snaps his fingers and the internet just drops. Me, you, and other people would likely be immediately angry as usual. But unlike ordinary people who could lose internet connection even every day without consequences, there's the stock market, which would simply stop in a moment. I mean, trading today is all about the internet, with billions of dollars flying around every second. If the internet went down, stock exchanges would have no choice but to shut down trading. Can you even imagine the financial panic that would cause? Investors would be freaking out because they couldn't buy or sell shares. Without the ability to trade, right after minutes of the internet collapse, prices would simply freeze and nobody would know the true value of anything. People would start panicking and trying to pull their money out of investments. But guess what? They wouldn't be able to. Everything would be locked up. And you may already guess that this could easily trigger a global financial crisis. Banks and financial institutions would be in trouble because they rely on the internet for transactions and managing funds. Businesses would struggle to get the capital they need, and consumer confidence would plummet. It's not just the big investors who would be affected, though. Regular people with retirement savings and 401k plans tied to the stock market would see their financial security threatened. The economy could spiral into a recession. Or worse, jobs would be at risk as companies face financial uncertainty and we'd all feel the pinch. For tech giants, this would be nothing short of a catastrophe. The internet is just their lifeblood. Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, Google, Meta, Nvidia. Can you even imagine how much money they all generate together and how important they are for the global economy? And it's not just about Jeff Bezos or Mark Zuckerberg going bankrupt. These companies employ millions of people and Amazon alone employs about 1.5 million. In short, it's obvious that all kinds of companies would try to adapt, but even still, people all around the world would be much more poor and with much worse living conditions. It seems like the world is already crashing, but it's only the beginning. Now let's see how losing the internet would be a life and death situation for many people. Emergency response teams, hospital departments, and clinics often rely on internet-based systems to share information quickly and efficiently. In the chaos of an internet blackout, critical information about patient conditions, lab results, and treatment plans would be lost. Just imagine doctors unable to retrieve vital patient histories, medication lists, or allergy information. Medical errors like prescribing the wrong medication or dosage would become commonplace. Telemedicine services, which have become crucial for providing care to remote or immobile patients, would cease to function. Patients who depend on virtual consults for chronic conditions or even urgent health issues would be left without support, which definitely worsens their conditions and leads to unnecessary death. You could say that medicine would also adapt, and you would be right. But when? A month? Even a couple of days is critical. We simply cannot put this industry on pause. At any given moment, there are thousands of patients in critical condition who need immediate and accurate medical interventions. For example, patients in intensive care units depend on continuous monitoring and real-time data analysis from internet-connected devices. Thus, it would be a nightmare for the healthcare system, leading to medical errors, delayed treatments, and ultimately death. But what about the government? 
What would they do to keep us informed while preventing panic? Well, get ready to go back in time to the 1980s. Without social media, email, or official websites, we would need to rely on traditional media like television, radio, and newspapers. This would be a huge adjustment for everyone. We're so used to getting instant updates on our phones or computers, but now, waiting for the evening news or the next day's paper would become the norm. The government would need to make sure that all critical information reaches everyone quickly and accurately, which is a lot more difficult without the speed and reach of the internet. You can imagine loudspeakers in the streets, community meetings, and regular updates on TV and radio becoming essential to prevent panic and misinformation. To help keep everybody calm, the government would likely deploy more police and emergency workers in public places. It would be like going back in time, with public services being more visible and proactive, engaging directly with communities to address concerns while providing updates. But would it be possible to stay calm when it comes to starvation? If the internet went down, it would create major chaos to supply chains and logistics, causing shortages of essential goods and major delivery delays. The internet is crucial for tracking shipments, managing inventories, and coordinating between suppliers, manufacturers, and retailers. And without it, everything becomes a huge mess. Imagine the chaos if global supply chains break down, and it would definitely happen right after the internet drops. Trucks, ships, planes transporting goods, none of them would be able to coordinate their routes. Warehouses wouldn't know what stock they had or needed to order, and stores would struggle to keep their shelves stocked, leading to widespread shortages. The most immediate and severe impact would be on the food supply. In developed countries, grocery stores could run out of stock quickly, leading to panic buying and hoarding. But in more poor regions, the consequences would be not only much worse, but even deadly. Vulnerable populations, especially in already food insecure areas like parts of Africa, would face starvation. Oh, and also keep in mind, I've only been talking about the first few days. Now we'll fast forward to a couple of months where such a world exists, and trust me, things would not get any better. But before we jump into that, I have a quick reminder for you. Take advantage of your internet connection right now and hit that like button to help us grow. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any updates. And with that, let's come back to this harsh world. So how would our lives change after a couple of months of this immediate chaos? You think things have stabilized? Well, yeah, but you're not going to like it. Remember that stock market collapse with the price freezing that I talked about in the beginning? The financial world would now be in ruin. Initially, the stock market freeze would cause widespread panic and uncertainty, but now, as the freeze lifts, the pent-up demand and disrupted supply chains would cause prices to skyrocket. For the average American, this would mean several things. First of all, forget about any kind of retirement fund. You would also be unable to get loans or mortgages because of all the financial uncertainty. Home values would drop and foreclosures could rise, leading to a significant increase in homelessness. Job losses would continue to mount as businesses failed to recover. Small businesses in particular would be hit the hardest. Without the ability to manage logistics, process payments, or communicate effectively, many would simply shut down permanently. This would lead to widespread unemployment, pushing an enormous number of people into poverty. But what about food after a couple of months? The last supplies have already been eaten, and the new ones would not and could not be delivered in the same quantities as before. This would be one of the hardest parts of life without the internet. With supply chains broken, the availability of food would drop drastically for the foreseeable future. Supermarkets, which used to have all of their shelves full of goods, would now be empty, and the initial panic buying and hoarding would have cleared out reserves, new supplies would be really limited. Food imports would slow down to almost nothing because international trade would be nearly impossible to coordinate. People would have to rely on whatever local resources they could find, which would mean big changes in what we eat. Fresh produce, meat, and dairy would become a rare treat, and canned and non-perishable items might last a little bit longer, but they'd eventually run out as well. The amount of food supply we'd lose forever would be staggering. 
we'd face a tough reality of food scarcity and the massive challenges of rebuilding a sustainable supply chain from scratch. And I almost forgot about the psychological impact of such changes. 8 billion people would have to begin living by entirely new rules in just a moment. How would that affect our mental health? The stress and anxiety from the constant uncertainty and lack of basic necessities would take a huge toll on mental health. Many people would struggle with feelings of hopelessness and despair, and the rates of people unaliving themselves could spike as people felt overwhelmed by the drastic changes in the dire situation they found themselves in. The inability to provide for one's family or the loss of a job and home could push many to the brink, and the lack of mental health resources, already stretched thin, would make it much more difficult for people to get the help they need. Crime rates would likely increase as well. Desperate people might resort to theft or violence to secure food and other essentials for themselves and their family. Trust in government and institutions would erode as people felt abandoned and betrayed by those who were supposed to protect and provide for them. This loss of trust could lead to protests and civil unrest, making it nearly impossible to maintain peace and stability. But let's be real here. We would certainly adapt, right? Even with all of these seemingly deadly challenges, don't even hesitate to believe that humans would manage all of them. Innovation would play a main role. Engineers and inventors would develop new technologies and methods to overcome the lack of internet connectivity. Alternative communication systems, local networks, and offline solutions would emerge, helping to bridge the gap left by the internet. So, it might take years to fully recover and rebuild, but we would find ways to create a new, functional society. It would be a completely different world for us, but globally, for the next generations, the internet would become history. And those who will come after us in the future will never understand what it was like to live with the internet in the first place. Tell me in the comments section how you think you would survive in a world without the internet. Also, share this video with your friends. And if you want more post-apocalyptic scenarios, click on this video to find out what it would be like if you were the last human on earth. Don't hesitate, click on it right now, and let's get into that world together.